Welcome back to the uh, the Brew Corner. Today I'm doing another beer review from uh, Beer Brothers. I tried one, I think it was last week or the week before, and really nice. That was an alt beer, but today I'm going to try their True Brit, which is like a uh, a British pub beer. So we'll see what that tastes like. It's 3.8% volume. But before I try the beer, let me show you this. this this is the wild yeast fermenting away and this is the cool ferment so temperature this week has been around about 13 degrees outside uh, not much difference indoors either well sorry in here uh, and it's going grey guns the the fermenter indoors if you remember i'm doing this these two beers one's fermenting warm one's fermenting cool outside uh, the one indoors is exactly the same so they're both just really going for it and it's going to be interesting to see if there's a flavor difference we know what this tastes like because uh, i've brewed this and i'm fermenting this exactly like i did with the first wild yeast experiment uh, outdoors in, in, in the cool but will the warmer ferment produce those really nice fruity esters that wild yeast is famous for we'll find out but it's going great guns so I thought I'd show it to you look at that amazing right let's get on with this beer review so this is again is the beer brothers uh, a brewery about 20 minutes drive from my house between Blackburn and Preston and this is their true Brit a 3.8% sort of like an English traditional English pub beer and I'm doing these reviews because although I'm a home brewer and I love home brew we have to support our local breweries especially wow that's frothed up already uh, especially during these times they've uh, they've been through a hard time over the past 18 months and we've got to keep these breweries alive so if I can do my little bit in a small way I will and I've noticed that uh, they don't have any reviews on YouTube except for my alt beer that I did last week or the week before so I thought I'll review them and uh, you know give them some marketing perhaps I'm not being paid for this they don't even know I'm making the video okay let's have a look at this beer well wow yes that's a traditional pub beer a nice deep sort of amber well not amber copper it's a copper color with a nice two finger head on the top nicely tightly compact that looks a really nice beer okay I'm gonna dive in roasty malt aroma very little hop in fact no hop at all really okay cheers yeah 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 that is your traditional English bitter uh, there's no frills there's no new world hops there's no you know uh, fruity fruity hoppy it's malt it's all about the malt and you get a really nice roasted malt in fact it's it's quite let me just have another taste I'm, <laughs> I'm uh i'm starting to think here okay i'll say for my taste carbonation's a little bit too much for the style of the beer uh these type of english pub beers should really in my opinion have a soft carbonation not flat just a nice soft gentle carbonation this is a little bit you know fizzy it 
but flavor wise yeah it, it's malt forward there's there's virtually no bitterness really no hot presence uh, body wise quite light but what I like about this beer is it's got a smoky property to it in fact it reminds me and I forget who brews it it's a German brewery and they do what's called a rock beer a smoked beer and they use smoked malts and this has a very very similar flavour to that one yeah it's 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 reminding me of that beer i forgot the name of the brewery uh, but i tried it not long ago and it's a german smoked beer a rock beer and it reminds me quite a lot of that beer in fact it's like a lighter version of that really nice usually in traditional english pub beers you don't get that smokiness they've obviously added that little twist to this and i think it's worked uh it's still an english beer but it's just got that little extra but i'll be honest if you like your hops stay away from this because there's virtually no hop at all I'm not picking up any hop uh, it's quite watery at the back end uh, there's no real dryness there's no bitterness really to speak of it's very much about the malt but that said it's very nice uh, that smokiness just gives it oh and it's uh, yeah like I say for me for this style of beer it's a little bit too over carbonated as well uh, but it is a beer that's definitely about the malt and definitely I think about that that little bit of smokiness that they've put in there but it's a very pleasant beer I mean it's 3.8 percent so you know you've got to bear that in mind it's not a big powerful beer I think they've done a good job um, I don't think it'd be one I would buy again to be honest but I'm glad I did and I'm glad I've tasted it uh, it's a nice beer I think that's all we can say it's not earth-shatteringly groundbreaking good well, fruit flies have uh, come and uh, want to investigate as well and do a bit of beer tasting uh, yeah it's not earth shattering it's not uh ground baking beer by any chance but it is decent and uh I'm, I'm yeah worth a go they have an online shop uh they're only a very small brewery and uh, i think most of the sales are online I don't think they have a, like a pub or anything like that they do have a tap room at the brewery but i don't think they've got a pub uh chain or anything like this they're just a small brewery uh two mates uh, schoolmates who uh, enjoyed home brewing and uh, made it a job so i think we should support breweries like this you know and uh I'm glad to play my part even though they don't know <laughs> so thanks for watching uh true brit from the beer brothers they've got an online shop they ship in the uk unfortunately if you live outside the uk i don't think they would ship to you but if you're in the uk and you want something a little bit different true brit is it's got the hallmarks of a typical pub beer but it's got that nice smokiness like that German rock beer flavour which is interesting and I enjoy it uh, so I'm going to enjoy this okay thanks for watching it's been short but it's been pleasurable and I'll see you again 
in the next video. Bye bye for now.